In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a graph on Google Sheets. Before we get started with Google Sheets, we're going to make sure we address three things before we get started. Number one, have you collected enough data points? Do you have enough information to draw a conclusion or figure out what the relationship is between your two variables? Secondly, do you need to consider significant figures? If you do, there are two rules there of how to handle your significant figures, depending on which mathematical operation you're doing. And lastly, and most important, we have to correctly identify the independent and dependent variable. So the independent variable is the variable that you are physically controlling and manipulating throughout the experiment. And the dependent variable is the variable that you are measuring to see if and how it responds to your independent variable. Now, once you've asked yourself all those questions and you've got everything all figured out, then you're ready to graph on Google Sheets. All right, so now I've pulled up a blank spreadsheet on Google Sheets. You don't have to enter your data specifically in the top left-hand corner, but most people choose to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna title the first column with whatever my independent variable is along with the units. I'm also gonna title the second column with the dependent variable along with the units as well. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my data below. So I finished entering all of my data in my first and second column. Remember your first column is going to be your independent variable along with your data. Your second column is going to be your dependent variable along with all your data. Now, although the units are really important, you don't actually include the units with the numbers because Google Sheets isn't going to recognize that one S means one second. So you just need the numbers here and you make sure you put the units right beside the variable names. Before I carry on, I went ahead and put a title up here. So just in case I need to go back and grab this information or, or make a change, I'll have this thing all titled up so that I can go back and find it easily. All right, so I've titled everything and put all the data in. So I'm just going to hold my mouse down, highlight those two columns of data, then I'm gonna go to insert and then chart. Now it creates a graph for you that's already nicely titled it already has the dependent variable versus the independent. It has your axes labeled and there's a line on the graph. Now, typically, if you're creating a graph after a scientific experiment, you want to go to chart type and then change that into a scatter chart. OK, now, if your graph doesn't look like this, occasionally this third box isn't clicked. So if it's unchecked, it's going to look kind of strange. It's going to have two lines of data. So you want to make sure that's always checked. All right, now we're ready for our final steps. Usually everything's titled correctly, but if you need to make some tweaks, you can kind of see that there's ways to change your titles and to change some different options on here. What we really want to do is go to series, scroll down, and then click trend line. So instead of connecting my dots together, it's going to place a best fit line, which is going to be a lot better for showing our trend and showing our rate of change. I'm going to scroll down a little bit further and I want to do two final things to have all of my information reported out. I'm going to go to label and then use equation. Use equation is going to be really significant because it's going to provide me with my slope of 2.39 and my y intercept of negative 0.857, which you can later use in some more analysis of the data or reporting out information for your conclusion. And if necessary, you can always click the R squared value to show the correlation of your variables. All right, now that pretty much sums up all the steps on how to create a graph in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching and listening.